What's good, y'all? It's your girl. It's your fave. Just Day's name back with another video today, you guys. If you're new to my channel, which I hope you are, and even for the people who've been here, hey! Okay, welcome to another video. If you're new, if you're not new, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, okay? So you can stay tuned, so you can be on the notification gang and be notified when I upload the videos because it's sparse, girl. If you look at the last video, I haven't uploaded in two months. I got my reasons, though. We're gonna get into all that today. Okay, and so we're gonna go ahead and make a little video. Like, let me tell y'all, before I sat down, I was like, oh my God, like, my, like even right now, my heart is racing so fast and i don't know why like i feel like you want to know something y'all i feel like it's just because i have so much to say i got so much to tell y'all life been life in um and yeah we're gonna talk about a lot of stuff today okay and y'all know i say what i want to say when i say it so make sure you stay tuned for this entire video because it's gonna be some it's gonna be some tea okay it's gonna be some receipts it's gonna be some updates just, just come get in my business come get in my business okay I think in this video, I am going to... What's wrong? Anyway, so in this video, I'm going to do a q and A. I haven't done a and a on my channel at all, so I did write on my Instagram and asked y'all to ask me questions, and I will answer them in this video. I told y'all to keep it raw because I was gonna keep it a buck no matter what. So I am gonna answer all of the questions that y'all asked me. Y'all asked some pretty good questions, so I will be answering all of them if you don't follow me on instagram make sure you do at jst dash underscore it be lit over there so yeah we're gonna get into it this will probably be in a vlog or maybe a tiktok all my handles will be down below but i went to the cosmetic store finally the other day and i'm gonna show you some of the stuff that i got we'll try some of these new products and see what they hidden on so i spent a total of 29 dollars 90 at the cosmetic store i got some MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I got some Too Faced 12 hour smudge resistant and waterproof eyeliner. And I got a MAC Made to Wow Brow Kit. So we're gonna see if it's given, but I got all this for $30, okay? So if you haven't or have thought about going to the cosmetic store, make sure that you check it out. I did not have my camera yet to vlog. If y'all have been keeping up with me on Instagram, y'all know that Zeus ate my camera. Um, I accidentally left his kennel open. When I went to work, I came back home, and y'all, he had did number one, number two, three, one through 10 in the house. Um, he had got in my room. All of my stuff is on my bed because I had been editing a vlog the night before. And so, y'all, he just went and told up everything. He bit the camera up. He ate all my memory cards. So, it's going to be a lot of footage from when um, I went to that Curve event. I was an influencer at something called Carchella. My friend's birthday. Um, when uh, T, K, and Simone were here. Um, it was so much footage that he ruined. I'm still going to try to take it to Best Buy and see if I can get the data taken off of the memory card. But... It ain't looking too good. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It ain't looking pretty. So I'll just have to upload videos from my phone when I do make the vlog so that, so that y'all can kind of still see some of the stuff that went on. But y'all got pup ruined it. So y'all internet pup, he ruined it. So yeah, there's that. So I'm about to go ahead and pull up the question. Also y'all, this is new too. So I have four of these, but the rest of them are still so empty or I kind of have stuff that I need to still put on the shelves that's over on the other side. So y'all can't see that. I could have moved the camera over a little bit, but it's just a bunch of junk. And like, if I'm watching somebody video and I see all that in the background, no ma'am. So I just got my bags here. And uh, yeah, that's why y'all see this space here. Don't talk about me. Make sure y'all tune into the vlog so y'all can see what's going on. Okay, so y'all already know everything is gonna be linked in the description box. Right now I'm just putting on milk primer. I have this YSL primer that I really wanna try. Um, but it's like 56 bucks, y'all. Like I need to go in the store and get the little tester first before I decide to just go full out and buy something $56 for. But it looks so pretty. If you try the YSL primer, the one that kind of has that shimmery gold in it, let me know. But I am gonna be trying that. I just been trying to get new makeup. My routine is typically the same. And we need some change in our life, girl. We need some change. Okay, so the first question is, where you been and how are you doing? <sighs> y'all. <sighs> Honestly, y'all, 
I would be lying to y'all if I didn't say that life was whooping my ass because it is. Um, y'all know that a couple of months ago, I got fired from my job due to me not um, letting them know really that I was leaving. Well, I kind of let them know that I was leaving, but their whole thing was, nah, sure, you can't leave. And uh, I ended up doing it anyway because I decided to choose myself, and that's how I ended up in Houston, Texas. So... They ended up finding out a couple months down the line. I kind of feel like maybe to my own fault, shit, or even to some of the people that work there. Who really knows? But obviously, it wasn't for me. And yeah. So I'm saying that to say I do have a new job now that I am here in Houston. And it's okay. I, I won't say that I'm just absolutely in love with my job or that it's what I picture myself doing or something that I like getting up in the morning to go and do. It's, it's really not. And, uh, I really can't do too much about it except for come on here, make content, hope that y'all like it, and go from there, you know. But I am currently seeking other employment, but I won't complain. I'm grateful because at the end of the day, it could have been way worse than it is. So I'll just say that I'm blessed to have it, but it's not where I want to be. So I do feel like sometimes going somewhere that you don't want to go every day, um, it can be really draining, you know? It could be really like mentally draining because you just hate that shit. I wake up every morning like, I hate that ass. <laughs> you feel me? So sometimes it's really hard, but again, I'm, I'm forever grateful. And I, that's just what I gotta do for now. Outside of that, you guys, I'll just keep it very short and, and very, very brief. I have a lot of things going on at home. You know, I have a lot of stuff going on at home and that's not something that I really want to share. But I will just say this, pray for my, my family, pray for my mental, okay? And just go with me while I go through the motions. I feel like sometimes when I get in the mood, it's really hard for me to stay motivated. It's really hard for me to um, be consistent. It's, it's really hard because it's like all my other feelings are weighing down on my motivation. It's weighing down on me being happy you know it's weighing down on on me just as a person you know me being here just by myself um and all of the stuff around me kind of crumbling when i moved it kind of feels just like heavy you know i can't really explain and i'm trying to kind of let y'all in to be a little bit more vulnerable without really saying too much because it's not necessarily nobody's business but it's kind of like you know i'm trying to be as transparent as i can um because I feel like it is important as a creator and just as a human in general. Like I know the other day, it's crazy because my cousin had called me and she was just like asking how I was doing. And I was like, oh, I'm good, you know. Typically I feel like when you ask people how they're doing, their first thing to say is just like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. You know, I, I really never feel like nobody gonna say that they bad. So that's kind of always been my approach because I'm one of those people who don't tell people a lot of stuff. One, because I'd be afraid that somebody will try to use it against me in the future. Two, um, I just don't like putting my burdens on other people. I deal with my shit on my own, how I'm gonna deal with it on my own, and I kinda go from there. Unfortunately, that's like a lot to think about before even saying anything. So, you know, overanalyzing, but that's just how I've been, that's how I've always been. But anyways, I'm saying it to say when she texts me, she's like, how are you? And I told her, oh, I'm good. She's like, no, really, like, how are you? And as soon as she said that, y'all, I just start, I just broke down and cried. I just broke down and cried like a baby. Okay, just weeping, shoulders jerking, nose running, like. <laughs> I was, I was really in my feelings, you know what I mean? So, anyways, I'm saying all that to say, I'm, I'm back and I'm better. Words of rice and tilla. And um, I'm just going through the motions, you know? Human, and I deal with stuff just like anybody else. I literally seen this comment on land the other day. By the way, I'm about to use this NARS concealer in the color Amade. It's medium deep, color three. But I seen this post the other day and somebody was like, I don't tell y'all where I seen it, but if you watching it, stop playing with me, shorty. But the comment was like, um, oh my God, you're hanging out with just Dave? She just seems so depressed. Like, don't hang out with her. Bitch, I am not depressed. <laughs> I promise you I'm not depressed. Not even a little bit. And even if I was, what's it to you? Super, super crazy. I was like, what? But you know, that's the internet for you. 
But no, y'all, I'm I'm very well. I'm I'm in good spirits, and I'm doing better than I was a couple of weeks ago. I will say yes. That's why I decided to hop back on here because. I feel like I owe that to myself. I feel like there's something that I want to do and I have to keep pursuing it if, if I really see it as being not only beneficial to me, but beneficial to y'all because I truly feel like I got a story to tell. And when I'm really in my element, y'all will know everything that's everything. But anyways, yes. So that is how I'm doing. Um, I'm really happy to be back. I'm, I'm very, very happy to be back and make videos for y'all because I feel like this is kind of like a getaway and I feel like I... I can be very, um, I can be transparent to the best of my ability here. That, that sounded kind of sad. So let's go to, let's go to a more like, let's go to another like a little hype question. Okay. One of the other questions is, do you and your ex still smash? <laughs> Why would you ask me that? Why would you ask me that? You really want to know? Well, I just called Jamil. But he didn't answer. So, if he calls back, I'll let him answer that question for you. If he don't, I'll answer it for you. Oh, he called back, y'all. Hold on. Hello? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> what you doing? I ain't on nothing. Chilling. Chilling? Yeah, I'll be to Okay, hold on real quick. <laughs> okay, I gotta ask you a question. Yeah. <laughs> so I did a Q and A on my um on my Instagram, and I told them to ask me whatever. I told them to ask me whatever they want, and I keep it a buck, right? Uh, a lot of these questions have to do with you. Somebody said, "Do you and your ex still smash?" Oh my god! <laughs> do we? I talked about I was gonna ask, I was gonna let you answer. And they said, why won't you and Jamil, why won't you, oh, I guess that's a question for me. Hey, Dej, could you and Jamil work it out if he moved to Houston? Would I, would I move to Houston? It said, could we work it out if you moved to Houston? Oh, uh, yeah, if I move to Houston, yeah, we're going to work it out. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. It's a... Why won't you get back with Jamel? It looks like the love is still there. I think that might be a question for me. So on that note, I'm gonna let you go. Anything you wanna say to the people since they love you so much? No, I'm gonna I'm I'm wait on your video because I wanna get these answers too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, it's all right. All right. Y'all is crazy. I'm gonna answer that question last because y'all play too much. Are you still homesick? We definitely have to link one of these days. Hey girl, hey. Um, do I still get homesick? I, I do get homesick still. I feel like, especially with the holidays coming up, I'm kind of like, dang, like how, like do I want to be here, you know? Because I really haven't built like my own like family or nothing yet or have that here yet. I do have really good friends that um, obviously I'm like very supportive and stuff like that, but they got their own families, you know, and like a lot of my friendships are still very new. Like, so it's a little bit different. Um, like if I was home, it would be like a little bit different. Cause those are kind of like, I've known those people all my life. Like me and Jazz are just not coming up on a year of being friends. And me and T have been in their friends for a very long time, but we met in April. So it's, it's been a minute. I mean, I haven't been, you know, too long. So I really don't have that yet. Um, and so sometimes, like, yes, it's like that friendship sister kind of feel, but it's different kind of having that like family, family dynamic, that family feel. So I definitely miss it. I'm definitely still um, homesick a lot. But even when I go visit, 
girl i i be ready to leave like i be ready to come back home to zeus and i just be ready to to come home um but honestly i i do still get homesick i do miss my family all the time y'all will be surprised at how many times a day my phone ring when i say my hotline bling it be blinging like so that i value because people always calling and checking in on me seeing how i'm doing um and pretty much everybody has been to see me so I'm very uh, happy and I'm very grateful. And yes, I 100% still very much get get homesick. You look so happy in Houston. When are you going to link with more creators? Well, <laughs> so I actually, I have really been trying to link with a lot of other creators. Um, but I have been like super unsuccessful with that for whatever reason. Honestly, I feel like some of the creatives that I have intended on kind of leaking up with, they tend to hang with like other creators or bigger creators, which isn't a problem because I feel like that's a part of your brand. Like you want to be with people who I feel like can help build your brand. Um and and things of that nature. But I feel like I'm more in the aspect of yes, building my brand, but I still want like genuine relationships like I feel like I told y'all this before like genuine relationships mean a lot to me so yeah obviously like a partnership but if it can be I would love to have like more friends like my, my friend application has been been open you know what I'm saying so I have had issues with that um but that's neither here nor there um I feel like that was one of the um also one of the things where I was just like dang like is it me type shit but nah no, it's not. I'm, I'm not going to press the issue or anything at all. Um, I'd rather have the genuine kind of like relationships and their partnerships than anything. So um, I've done my reaching out and done everything like that, but I'm not going to exhaust my efforts at all. So I just let it be what it is. And I feel like also, I feel like there's so much empowerment in that because it's like, you don't like, yeah, there'll be a nice little, you know, situation. But at the same time, it's like, just create your own lane. If that's not working out in your favor or whatever the case may be, just create your own lane. So I feel like that's kind of the mindset that I'm in and more so like if it happened, it happened. If it don't, it don't. I just wanted to say, I can't wait for you to post again. I miss, it's your girl, it's your fave. <laughs> that means so much to me. I like, for real though, comment down below. Like, do y'all know how much that y'all genuinely mean? Not just to me, but creators, like you have to understand how hard it is to be a content creator, especially if you have a nine to five. If you already have a nine to five or even got your own stuff going on, that's a lot. Like, so when y'all still mess with us and y'all still, you know, met, like mess with us the long way, even when we have stuff going on or when we are emotional or when we disappear or even just seeing y'all comments like y'all gotta understand how how important that is to people like it's literally like virtual best friends like that's literally what what it's like and i i love and value that so so much like i i really love y'all i know i dis be disappearing on y'all quite a bit i ain't gonna i ain't even gonna lie but you know I'm still human. I got my own X, Y, and Z going on, but I feel like I'm in this stage of bossing up. I feel like I'm in this stage of self-identification, doing the work that I feel like I have never done, um, and really just like exhausting my independence since I moved here. That it's just only up from here, you know. So sometimes I do need that space to step back because I'm still in such a new space. Like I literally moved out the state. Y'all from say I moved out the country. I'm still in America. I literally moved out the state by myself with nobody. I ain't, I had, I've had pets when I was smaller, but I done messed around and bought a pet. And y'all know he a little demon seed. So it's just like, you know, I, I lost my job. It has just been so much stuff that has happened at once back to back. And I feel like I'm just, mm, mm, like Samurai Jack. You know what I'm saying? Like dodging shit. You know, like it's, it's been so crazy. So I feel like I'm learning to be patient with myself, but I appreciate y'all are patient with me too, so. I love that. I value that. But y'all definitely have been in my DMs, checking on me, asking how I'm doing. And that's just such a good feeling because sometimes, you know, as a content creator, when you feel like you're doing all the work um, to a certain extent and you're not seeing the results that you want to see, sometimes it can be very um, unmotivating or make you feel like what you're doing ain't enough or just really make you feel like giving up. And I won't lie and say I haven't been there because I have... 100% like anybody gonna care blah 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 but then here go y'all come here y'all come you know with 
all these messages asking how I am, asking how I'm doing, and I fuck with that. I know y'all want to be in my business, but I also love this y'all. This y'all care, so that, that means a lot to me. So I hope that, you know, that y'all continue to support y'all favorite content creators and, you know, just, just continue to watch everybody's journey because we all have our own story to tell. And girl, these stories be storying. Zeus, Zeus, you okay? Oh my God. Scared the fuck out of me, boy. The next question is, when will we get another vlog? So y'all are going to, so basically, I feel like when, when I disappear, because my channel has grown so big because of my story times, sometimes I feel like to gain that traction back when I've been gone for so long, like now, like two months, um, I have to typically put out um, a story time or something that, you know what I mean, that, that, that gets y'all attention again. So for me, I, I kind of learned that that is story times, gets my traction back up and everything be everything. So... I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this life update um slash Q and A and then I'm going to post a story time and then I'm gonna post the blog. I do have a blog already uploaded, thumbnail made, everything is there. Um I just don't want it to to flop. Um I feel like if I put out a vlog right now without kind of giving y'all any insight on what's been going on, it's kind of just gonna be like girl. No, you didn't. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put this out and then I have a story tab coming because y'all, I thought I was getting away from the crazy folks when I moved, the weird, the weird people. Didn't happen, didn't happen. But, what y'all will be proud of me though because I have to stop that shit in this tracks. That's what I mean by doing the work because I have always been like, oh no, it's okay. Let me give you a chance. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Nah, you're done. It's a done dollar on my little baby. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also have a Shein clap and a Halara clap that I have to upload for y'all, um, which I've been manifesting sponsorships like that. And the fact that I've gotten it twice, y'all see my first Shein haul, but I just got a whole new box of Shein stuff that y'all will be seeing um, probably next week. So I have all of that stuff ready and loaded. Do you hear me? But yes, I have the vlogs coming. They on the way, they on the way. So I, I told myself that what I was gonna start doing because y'all know that I work in that fast. Sometimes it's hard to be uploading this stuff all the time. Or I'm tired of being up super late and having to get up super early and go to work. But honestly, that is all part of the grind. So I'll be feeling like shit. I kind of got to. Um, so I'm kind of gonna start doing it where after one day or one day of vlogging at least, I'll go back and I'll just upload that portion of the vlog to like my Final Cut Pro, if that makes sense. Um, and kind of do it day by day. That way it's not so much. And then it takes so much time. Like if you ever thought about being a creator or you are a creator, you will really value your favorite creators even more because it's a lot of work, y'all. Like if you, think about how long it takes to, think about an hour vlog. If somebody makes an hour vlog or hour and a half vlog or something like that, you know how long that takes? That's probably like a week's worth of footage. That's probably like 10 hours. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how much you really vlog, eight hours, that's a lot to scrunch down into one video. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, look, my eyes start running together after two long. Somebody said, you look so good. When are we getting a weight loss video? And then somebody else said, you look so good, by the way. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. I, I appreciate that. Listen, if y'all have seen my before and afters, which again, I did post actually on Instagram the other day. Make sure y'all follow me, JST Days underscore. Um, if y'all have seen it, then y'all will know where I have come such a long way in my weight loss journey. And I've always been like one of those people that have been on the thicker side. Um, and so it has always just, I've always been able to kind of like see myself like, yeah, I want to wear this, I want to wear that. Like envisioning myself at my best stuff, which I do feel like um, not, specifically has to do with my body but I would enjoy having um a super nice body um not saying that it's trash not saying that I look like a you feel me not saying that I look crazy but I I, I look good I feel good but I want to feel better if that makes sense so, um, I have been working overtime on the overtime trying to get to where I want to be. 
and it has been a lot of work it has been a lot of work and um i'm not really one to like gatekeep and stuff but comment down below let me know if y'all like a video like that i was actually thinking of like making like an ebook obviously i'm not gonna text text y'all out the behalf for it but i will still give a lot of i feel like valuable information as to how i got how i was i mean how i am because y'all i used to weigh my highest weight before i started losing weight was 302 pounds i'm almost half a person now so anyways you um comment down below and let me know if y'all would like something like that and i'm gonna get on it because i have been thinking about making an ebook about it and letting y'all know the good the bad the ugly and how to get to where you want to go staying motivated is very hard um but i will say that the people around me have definitely helped with that and telling me how good i look that's motivation in itself somebody telling you that you look good or you've lost weight or anything of the score always makes you feel good at least it makes me feel good so I, I I love that and I always feel super I be like for real and don't let nobody tell me that I'm poking don't let nobody tell me that I'm poking feel me let me know if y'all like something like that so I'm gonna put my lashes on and then I'm gonna come back okay so I got two questions like this it says can we link one day I feel like we already already I feel like we are already distant friends and then somebody said and i really love this comment it says would you link with your supporters in houston texas me and my girl love your vids i freaking love that and i show you and your boo watching my videos like stop stop <laughs> i love that i freaking love that listen i'm keeping a buck with y'all i have always wanted to do a meet and greet always 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 when i the last trip i took to atlanta y'all was all up in my comments talking about doing meet and greet doing meet and greet because it was so crazy i remember going to atlanta and my cousin had got her makeup done and it was a super random shop like never had been there before nothing so we walk up in this makeup shop and as soon as we walk in we like you know whatever it's an appointment this and a third and this girl was like oh my god watch your youtube channel and at the time i was living in minnesota too y'all so i was just like no just days like i really felt like huh you feel me so long story short yes i would 100 percent do a meet and greet because i love and support y'all and i want to connect with y'all in that way i just don't know when i would do it and like i don't know sometimes i'm y'all i feel so inconsistent sometimes that i wouldn't even know i don't know like if, if anybody would even show up like i don't even know if anybody would even show up <laughs> you know what i'm saying like I, I that's what i'm thinking about in my head so 100 percent want to have one but i'm like who's gonna be there so who all coming if you would like me to do a meet and greet in houston and you will come and, and see your girl support your girl let me know comment down below because that could be the determining factor if i can get y'all to pop out i would love to i would love to hang out with y'all and meet y'all yeah, I want to do some blush. Um, and I got a few more questions about Jamel, but I'm gonna say that was to the end. And somebody said, somebody said, do you plan on staying in Houston or do you see yourself moving somewhere else later? Hmm. Um, do I see myself still being in Houston? Honestly, y'all, I feel like there's so much to see here. There's so much to do. I feel like a lot of my videos kind of showcase more so of the nightlife, which y'all already know is lit. But I have been telling myself that I do want to get into doing more daytime activities and really exploring the city and just going to go see some other stuff. Obviously, like I said again, y'all know what the nightlife is like. Y'all know that it's popping. Y'all know that y'all want to be here. Y'all want to come in for y'all birthday. Y'all know all of that stuff. So I feel like I just want to showcase a little bit more, go to some more events. So that's why I'm so mad that Zeus tore my camera up with all of my um with all of my stuff on my camera from that event that was the first event that i had ever got invited to since i've been in houston i started having that article i don't know if y'all seen my article but i'll link it in the description box but i did have a um article done on me um and i think that that kind of helped showcase a lot too because i ended up getting invited to like i said my first houston event and i want to do more of them i want to do more um i want to showcase a little bit more if y'all remember when i went to that caress event i want to do more of that i just want to do more and i want to see more um and just explore the city a little bit more i feel like i kind of already know what i like and what i don't like in the nightlife but now i want to do some other stuff like it's always some fun activities to do um 
and that's really what I'm gonna start showcasing more. So I'm saying all that to say, I feel like I haven't even gotten my feet wet yet when it comes to Houston. I feel like it's a lot of stuff that I haven't seen. A lot of festivals, I haven't even been to the rodeo yet. I haven't been to the rodeo. I haven't went to nothing, y'all. Nothing at all. The first year hill was super duper rough. Like I'ma keep it a buck with y'all. The first year hill was good and bad. I don't feel like either of them outweighed each other, but I feel like I didn't go through enough to make me just pack up and want to leave. Um, I, I genuinely love the city. I I love it. I love Houston. When people ask me, um, I feel like sometimes they be wanting me to say something bad or like regret me moving here or something like that, which I 100% don't. I love Houston. And I just feel like it's so much opportunity, so much space, opportunity. It's a lot of creatives here. It's a lot of stuff to see. It's a lot of stuff to do. It's so many black people. I have never been around this many black people in my whole life outside of my family. So the fact that I get to be around it and experience it every day is amazing to me. I even, when I went home, which Zeus ate that footage too. When I went to my, um, when I went home, I ended up going out with my family. We ended up just like going out, turning up. Y'all, we walked into a bar. We walked into a bar. I was just looking like, it's all these white people up here. Don't get me wrong, they cool. I fuck with them the wrong way. But I was just like, this is not home. Turn this music off. Turn this music off. Where's the little baby? Y'all up here playing MC Hammer. I didn't ask for that. Crazy. So, um, yes, I I definitely see myself still being here for a while. I don't have any intentions or anywhere else that I would want to move. I know that I remember for a while when I was at home, my mom talked about moving to North Carolina quite a, quite a bit actually. And um I still feel like I want to go visit. Um uh, I don't know necessarily if that's somewhere that I want to move to, but I do want to visit. Right now, if I absolutely had to pick, I would not leave. I don't have anywhere that I would like to go. I'm not going home. It's not happening. Like, can y'all really hear me saying I'm moving back to Minnesota? I'm moving back to Minnesota. It don't even sound right. It probably sound, it probably sound like I'm speaking Spanish around this bit. Not happening. The next question is, when or where is your next vacation? And what places are on your travel bucket list? Yeah, who is this? Tal Talia? Talina? Taliana? I feel like I'm butchering your name. But y'all, that is my girl, okay? That is my girl. She is just so super sweet. Um, and uh, I appreciate the question, girl. You know, I have to give you a little shout out. You are so super sweet and I appreciate your consistency. And stand down until I come up. She's been super, super supportive. And I'm so happy that you found me during my YouTube journey. To answer your question, my next vacation. So. I actually have two places that I'm trying to go. So I really want to go to the Lauryn Hill concert. I love Lauryn Hill. Album is forever a banger. It put me in my feelings. Sometimes that's where I need to be. And I absolutely love the album. Um, so she is going to be doing her tour. So I really do want to go see her. My plan is to go to Colorado to see her. Um, Y'all already know that Brie lives there. So I'm thinking of going with her and just going to visit because I have not visited her yet. So that's what my plan is right now. So my next trip, I'm thinking it's gonna be in October to Colorado. Um, comment down below if you have been to Colorado and any fun places that I should go while I'm there. And y'all already know that my birthday is in November. I am a Scorpio. If you a Scorpio, comment down below and let me know what you got going on for your C day this year. But I am going out of town and believe it or not, I'm going out of town with my little year. So, y'all y'all will be seeing that at least that's the plan we gonna see but if all else fails i will be going on a solo trip i do need to go somewhere tropical i feel like it has been long awaited and i haven't had a real real vacation in a very long time and i didn't travel a lot this year like i said i was going through a lot of stuff and honestly that's probably what i needed but i feel like vacations are just mental breaks and i feel like that's something that i could have used and should have done more cali was really cool but I feel like I deserve to be on somebody island, on somebody beach, looking how I look. Um, so yes, yeah. so my next vacation, I am trying to choose right now between Jamaica and going to Mexico. I have been to Mexico one time, but I have not been since 2020. That's during COVID when, when I went around my birthday and I had went with my friends at the time. So that's really kind of what I have been thinking. So I'm thinking about either Jamaica or Cabo, but 
um simone's birthday is actually coming up too my sister's a scorpio as well and she's doing something for her birthday so make sure y'all stay tuned for that because that's a thing it's very much a thing and we're gonna turn up so with that being said those are my next two vacations and then of course i'm going to be home during the holidays from what i know right now so we got two more two more questions um this one says how has houston been for you the good the bad and the ugly so the good the good of it, we're gonna say that there has been an ample amount of opportunity that has been presented to me and i feel like these are all things that i was never presented um or had the opportunity to do in my in my home state because you know what i do isn't necessarily a big thing there um so i feel like there's been a lot of opportunity i feel like i have been noticed out in public a lot um and i just feel like it's just very inspiring it's something that sometimes i need because i be forgetting who the fuck i am so my advice to you is never forget who the fuck you is because you're that girl been that girl gonna forever be that girl and you know what i mean like this is something that I used to struggle with, but start seeing yourself how other people see you in a good way, not even a bad way. We don't listen to the noise, but in a good way, the positive stuff, because they ain't seeing any of you for no reason, girl. Turn up, turn up and use it to your advantage. So that has been something that has been good for me. The opportunities have been endless. Even the collapse, everything has just been endless and it's been amazing. And I truly, truly feel blessed for all the opportunities and I ain't gonna lie y'all y'all gotta stay tuned for the story times because your girl I got her a couple sponsors and I ain't talking about Shein I ain't talking about I mean the mints okay y'all here dropping bags let's be for real we gonna talk about it though make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for the tea um but the bad the bad has really just been really me being homesick having situations that I have to kind of deal with on my own it's not like I can go down the street and see my people it's more so that phone call away you know and that phone call away is different than being able to go and hug my mom or being able to go and you know crack jokes with my dad so it's it's different and i feel like that hit me more than anything when i moved y'all know that i'm very family oriented so that was a lot for me to deal with um but i i feel like i'm adapting and i feel like i'm just gaining a lot of levels of independence that I feel like I never really had and I feel like that comfortability have always been a crutch for me my family has always been a crutch for me and so now that that's gone it's like you know what you gonna do sink or swim and so I feel like um I'm swimming but but every now and then I'm, I'm, I go underwater you know what I'm saying but I, I feel like I'm swimming and we're gonna get the the shore ain't too far off um and the ugly the ugly has just been really um not being as far as i feel like i want to be but that's a me problem so that's not even a houston problem that's just a me problem i just feel like i could be using everything around me more to my advantage i've already had some stuff out here that has been a little bit crazy a couple of encounters that i ain't too fond of but um that just is kind of what comes with the territory so you either, you either stay in it or you remove yourself from it and so we have done a lot of removing when it comes to other people and friendships and situationships so that's something i'll also talk about in these next few story times that's coming up because i do want to share my experience with y'all cut it i do want to share my experience with y'all to the best of my ability while still keeping some stuff to myself but letting y'all know what's going on so yeah that's for me really the good the bad and the ugly it's just um really just what it is hopefully that answers that question and then i think my absolute last question was <laughs> why won't you get back with jamel it looks like the love is still there why you ask me that i'm gonna answer that hold on i'm dressed now i'm probably about to throw this in the dryer and de-wrinkle it um before i leave but i just wanted to hurry up and finish this portion of the video but I said on this super cute dress that I got from Shein. If you haven't seen the pictures, make sure that you check my Instagram, okay? Again, Zeus jacked up my camera, so y'all didn't even get to see, see me going shopping. But I got these cute heels. They are Steve Madden's, and they're just so freaking cute to me. Um, so this is, the, uh, these are the shoes. And I got this bag also from Shein, which I think complemented the dress and everything so so well so i think it is super cute but i did post videos um sorry pictures so y'all will be seeing that and of course 
I will vlog at the restaurant that we're going to so that y'all can check it out because it is gorgeous from what I see. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then again, the last question, which I don't know why I'm waiting, I guess y'all waiting and anticipating. Y'all probably need kept through. But um, the last question was, why won't you get back with Jamel? It looks like the love is still there. Y'all know something, I, Jamel is my ex future baby dad. Like we have such a good friendship and I feel like we could find each other about a lot when we talk about everything and we talk about everything we talk about everybody we just have a very good relationship before we even started dating um we were really good friends like we we talked for a while before we even started dating at least like a year maybe um and then we got into a relationship and it kind of just blossomed from there so i kind of feel like us kind of setting that foundation is the reason why we could still be friends um, I think that we were really young when we were, when we were together. Um, me and Jamel got together in 2015. Um, this was like, a, well, I graduated in 14, but it was a little bit after I had graduated. And uh, we started dating in 2015. That's what it was. So if you think about it, that's literally almost 10 years ago. Um, and I was 18, 19, maybe. And uh, I just think that we were just too young. Um, I feel like both of us had a lot of growing to do. Um, do I feel like we have grown as individuals? A hundred percent. I think that we've grown in the aspect of being able to actually talk instead of argue because I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I have had, I've had a very bad temper. Like we done got into a real bad before, like real bad. Like bro, I don't chase this man with my car before. Okay. I don't bust his head like to before. Like I done did a lot of crazy stuff before. I ain't gonna air his dirty laundry out. I'll let him do it in the comments if he wants to, but he crazy too. I'm saying all that to say. We have been through a lot as a couple, as individuals, and I think that sometimes you grow apart, um, maybe in hopes that y'all, you know, bring yourselves back together or whatever, if God is willing, if not, whatever the case may be. So I just think that um, we definitely needed that time. Plus that, I think that I wanted a little bit more of commitment, commitment than he wanted. Um, and I'm not really the type of person to sit around and wait or none of that. I have been with him, I think, already for like five years. And I'm like, if it ain't me, then who is it? You know what I'm saying? Not begging nobody to marry me or nothing like that. Or even commit to me in a um, bigger way, necessarily. But it was just like things that I'm like thinking or things that I'm seeing. I'm kind of just like, I don't know. I'm more of like an actions person. And I feel like when your actions don't match your words, it's kind of time for me to bounce. So I think that that was something too. Um, so after that, I initially moving to my own apartment he helped me move into my first apartment if y'all have watched that vlog and seen when i moved into my apartment before this one then you'll see you know so he helped me move into my apartment um he went and got his own apartment when i go home i'll stay at his apartment like it's not i don't know i feel like that may sound weird to some people but it just worked for us you know what i'm saying it just it just works um but the love is very much so that I, I definitely love him i care about him i want the best for him and i'm pretty sure that it's like that vice versa um, but that's like my best friend. I'm going to cry to him about a lot. I'm going to tell him stuff that I have not told anybody. A lot of stuff that I don't tell him with confidence. So that's really my friend. That's my dog. If he can get his shit together. Okay. And think about what it is that he want with Just Dash. Then we can talk about it. We might be able to talk about it. We'll see. Anyways, y'all. That's going to be the end of this video, okay? Because I got to go. And plus that, I want to get back in town so I can make another video for y'all. But yes, make sure y'all check the links in the description box because everything will be there. Makeup, outfit, um, everything, okay? I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all for supporting me. Thanks for actually asking me questions. Make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure that y'all leave some comments down below, okay, to boost this video up. Make sure you give it a like. Even if you don't like it, like it, okay? If you got more than one YouTube, get on your other YouTube. Come like it. You know, we need to put us at the top, okay? Put us at the top phase because we deserve it. We deserve that top spot because we, we that girl. And I'm guys, okay? But I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Until next time, I'm gone.